Hello, I'm right on. Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs, Democrat. It looks like she's been exposed for accepting money from Sinaloa drug cartels in Mexico. Breaking news, Katie Hobbs and Runbeck Election Services have been named as recipients of Sinaloa cartel bribes via deeds of trust and phony mortgages in Arizona Senate investigation. When are the criminals running this country going to be held accountable? A California-based law firm has accused Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs, Secretary of State Adrian Fontes, Runbeck Election Services, and a slew of other election officials, mayors, judges, city councilmen, and county supervisors in the state receiving bribes from the Sinaloa cartel. During a Thursday hearing before a Senate Elections and Municipal Oversight and Elections Joint Committee, the principal investigator for Harris Dollar Law Corporation, Jacqueline Breger, presented their shocking findings, detailing how a money laundering investigation in the Midwest revealed alleged corruption in Arizona. Quote, in 2006, the U.S. Attorney's offices in Illinois, Indiana, and Iowa investigated the laundering of drug cartel monies through a complex series of single-family home purchases in those states, Berger told the committee. By 2009, numerous real estate agents, escrow companies, and title insurers have been indicted, charged, and convicted of racketeering. In 2014, our office was asked to review the case files and to determine whether monies from the sales of the properties had filtered to property purchases in Arizona, specifically in Maricopa and Pima counties, end quote. And the title of her report is Preliminary Findings of Activities Impacting Arizona's Election Integrity with Specific Focus focus on the 2020 and 2022 general elections. Well, good afternoon, Madam Chair. Good afternoon to, to everyone. Um, my name is Jacqueline Brega. And, and so, speak real close to the mic. Sorry, I apologize. That's okay, <laughs> so the folks in Sholo can hear you. Prescott. I don't know if they want to. <laughs> or Prescott. Um, just to tell you a little bit about myself, I do have a master's degree in marketing, honors degrees in financial accounting, business statistics, um, economics, and business strategy. So um, I've been a resident of Scottsdale, Arizona, since 1997. And I own the Feinbrega Insurance Agency, which is a farmer's insurance agency in the Valley. Since 2019, I've been a principal investigator with the Harris Thaler Law Firm. We have been investigating multiple multi-state racketeering and corruption. John Harris Thaler is our senior attorney and he is in charge of this investigation. Mr. Thaler has been practicing law for 32 years. His firm specializes in investigating racketeering and corruption for both the public and the private sector. And he has participated in some of the largest investigations, both in the U.S. and abroad. But with respect to the current matter at at hand, in 2006, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Illinois, Idaho, and Indiana investigated the laundering of drug cartel monies through a complex series of single-family home purchases in those particular states. By 2009, Numerous real estate agents, escrow companies, and title insurers insurers had been indicted, charged, and convicted of racketeering. And in 2014, our office was asked to review the case file. The reason for this was whether we should, was was we were asked to determine whether monies from the sale of the properties had filtered to properties purchased in Arizona, specifically in the Maricopa and Pima County. We concluded that several real estate agents convicted in Iowa had set up laundering systems in Arizona and thereafter had transferred the proceeds of sales to the Panamanian corporations. In 2018, Mr. Thaler discovered, incidental to a completely independent matter, a series of trustees 
evidencing that cash laundered through single family residences in Arizona was pervasive and ongoing. With that, a new investigation began, with the focus being on money laundered and related racketeering activities in Maricopa County, and as, as well as in several other co Arizona counties. We are currently represent several parties directly damaged by these racketeering activities. The investigation originally focused on fake notarizations, fake deeds of trust, fraudulent buyers and or sellers of the real property transactions, as well as other companies used in real estate transactions such as real estate brokers, mortgage companies, title and escrow companies, real estate inspection companies, service companies, and so on. Over 120,000 documents have been reviewed to date. <clears throat> service companies, and so on. Over 120,000 documents have been reviewed to date. <clears throat> These documents have definitely evidenced multiple racketeering enterprises, which include narcotic sales, money laundering, tax evasion, payroll theft, bankruptcy fraud, life insurance fraud, auto insurance fraud, bribing of elected and appointed officials, creating and modifying public record, falsifying professional licenses and related credentials, swatting individuals who pose a threat to these enterprises, and last but not least, election fraud.